Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Obadizer here with a new video of Clash Mini and in this video we are going to talk about the new update, what is coming and actually Clash Mini has announced a few things so yeah, before getting into the video be sure to subscribe and like for more Clash Mini videos and I would really appreciate it if you could get this video up to 30 or 40 likes or even more. Okay, so as you all know a new update is coming soon and, it, and we are going to have a new the season for this update so let me read uh, what we are getting and let me tell you what exactly what this how will this season work so uh, pretty much they posted this on reddit and they said okay uh, as promised here we are here's the breakdown of rewards you could receive from star exchange at the end of season one should you choose to opt in or clear your and declare your stars so it's it's an option and minis are reset to zero star upgrades and are still Still playable so if you choose this they will be reset to zero star okay so first of all you need to know how many total stars you have for total stars it's uh, pretty much the number of uh, stars that you have for all minis like let's say for Valkyrie I have two stars and let's say for goblin I have three stars so these this is a total of five star okay so I you should get the point now and uh, for the rewards uh, from star 7 up to 29 you are getting zero crystal coins zero golds zero hero uh, fragments and zero new hero fragments zero mini fragments and zero new mini fragments so you are not getting anything so in this case you i think it would be convenient to choose not to opt in so this is from 7 to um, 29 however when you go further if you get 30 to 39 stars you're going to get 45 crystal coins 4,000 gold 60 hero fragments and you're going to get uh, let me just uh, put that in a good place okay and you're going you're going to get uh, 60 hero fragments zero new hero fragment and 20 mini fragments and two new mini fragments so the new mini and the new hero fragments i believe this would be a new a totally new mini and a new hero so this will be a totally new thing which is really great and yeah i think uh, we're really going to get some cool thing which is uh, i'm really i'm really excited for the new heroes and uh, new minis whatever we are going to get it's not new heroes but maybe one hero and a couple of minis okay from 40 to 49 you're going to get more rewards so i'll put that in the screen you can go through and it's pretty much in, uh, on reddit and they posted that on their twitter so you can go ahead and look at that okay so in addition to that we are going to have uh, another thing uh, which is uh that we, we, another thing is that the Okay, let me. You can. So they said you cannot skip the exchange and then change your mind. Either you do it or the opportunity is gone until next season. So you have to do it immediately, I believe, because otherwise uh, you cannot just delay it. Okay, and there's a breakdown of rank rewards that everyone will receive that played rank play based on their higher or their highest ever rank. So if, I'll put this on the screen for easier to look. Now let's say if you are at uh, a pre, uh, Apprentice, I, th I think this is called Apprentice 3, you are going to get 10 crystal coins, 10 gems, and your new rank will stay the same, the adjustment. And F2 it's going to be 30 crystal coins and 10 gems, and the adjustment will be the same. For 1 it will be 60 crystal coins and 10 gems, and the adjustment will be the same. So for the adjustment will be the same up to silver 1. However, when you go to gold 3, uh, at up to gold one you will be adjusted to back to gold three but the higher the rank you are the more reward you'll get the same thing for diamond so you can see i'll put this on the on the screen you can uh, look at it easily and yeah this is how it will work out which is really great i think it's like it's still the same as the other games so which is really such a great thing i'm really liking how they are doing it okay what else we are going to also get a so for the duels, they said below gold three, nothing has changed. Uh, gold three up to gold one, losing you will you will not lose any uh, trophies, which is uh, great. I think it's uh, something nice about this. And other than that, uh, below from diamond three to diamond two, nothing has changed. Losing still one trophy. 
and uh, Diamond uh, 1 will be losing 2 trophies, Master losing 3 trophies and Grandmaster Legendary losing 6 trophies, winning always getting 5 trophies. So this is for duels and for rumbles to it uh, obviously or it might be a little bit different so again I'll put that uh, or this you can read it easily for rumble the top 4 players trophies are unchanged for all leagues uh, and the the same thing it's it's uh, pretty much how you are choosing and how to play with the different uh, uh, with the with the different game modes out there so which is really great I think it's really interesting how this really works from below gold 3 nothing has changed and the same thing it goes for legendary you're losing 8 trophies grandmaster losing 5 trophies master 3 trophies diamond 1 losing 2 diamond 3 to 2 nothing has changed gold 3 to 1 is losing 0 trophies so this is how the update will come by I think it's I think it's a lot of things uh, but it's still they are again it's it it looks that uh, it looks really great. They are now moving forward in a bigger update and bigger portion. We are having a new season. That's that's a really good thing. I'm really I'm really happy for this at least uh, at this uh, point. So they said in addition another change to mini progression is that you will still need uh, one fragment to unlock the mini plus one to get the star and plus three to get the second. So but do not panning the pacing of unlocking them will still remain similar as above since we have different venues and the pacing is adjusted as per our small talk decision discussion we'll see you in the update too so this is how it will go i think i think there are still a lot of things to do and they are posting some sneak peeks like little peeks they said they will keep doing that uh, uh, not frequently or yeah they said they will keep having a few things in a in a different times just for us to see and to visualize like maybe they'll post one thing in a day or two things in a day like they posted some kind of image and like an ocean thing maybe it's I don't know it's a hero regarding to that so we will see things are coming faster I would say and uh, I'm really excited for the updates I'm I think clash mini has a lot to give and we have a lot to see a lot to learn so and a lot to play with which is really amazing and interesting so yeah and people are saying that you might have a mini goblin or mini golem which is in a lava look I don't know if that would come but this is you know it's always it's always based on what people are just thinking we might get which is really interesting to be honest the the thing of just posting a small images and people are just coming up with ideas like this sneak peek is showing this kind of a leak you know so yeah I think this is what I really wanted to, to wanted to cover with you guys and I want to know your thoughts about it I think Clash Mini is again coming strong and might go global we don't know when but it might be I hope by summer so maybe if earlier we don't know so yeah i think that's it pretty much for this video guys i hope you all enjoyed watching don't forget to subscribe and like for more clash mini videos and let me know what do you think about this kind of a new season and yeah i think that's it pretty much goodbye and see you later everyone